Each year, scientists, researchers, and everyday people make incredible discoveries, helping us to better understand the world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting discoveries. Fossils found in Batagaika Crater Deep in the permafrost of Siberia lies an enormous megaslump crater known as the Batagaika Crater. At around 1 km long and over 86 meters deep, this massive void in the Earth is only increasing in size and at a rapid rate. The area around Batagaika is composed of dense, hard permafrost created by an ice freezing into the ground and being buried for thousands of years, resulting in layers of packed ice and sediment. However, around 60 years ago, the area fell victim to the rapid deforestation that has become so common in the modern world, and there were not enough trees left to adequately shade the ground, causing the permafrost to slowly thaw and collapse, creating the massive crater. And while locals in the region avoid it at all costs and view it superstitiously as a door to the underworld, what this massive hole in the permafrost can reveal about the past is of great interest to scientists. In much the same way that analysis of the rings of a felled tree can tell stories of climates and weather events from the past, so can the collapsed permafrost as they reveal through exposed sediment layers what the soil and earth composition was like millions of years ago. Nowhere else in the world is there such a visible and complete record of almost every change in climate for the last 200,000 years, so scientists have moved quickly to take advantage of the situation. And this knowledge of past climates is vital as scientists try to determine what effects global warming will continue to have on the delicate and already precarious permafrost layer, and consequently what that deterioration will mean for the rest of the world. Interestingly, knowledge of past climate changes and the potential effects of modern-day climate change is not the only interesting thing that has turned up in the ever-widening Siberian crater. As the permafrost has melted down and revealed layers of the past, several Ice Age fossils have been revealed that would otherwise have remained stuck under the hardened permafrost forever. Among the finds was a 40,000-year-old foal that was found perfectly preserved, with even its hair still totally intact. The permafrost acts as an enormous freezer of sorts for the ancient prehistoric animals who had lost their lives and were overtaken by the ice, allowing them to remain frozen and protected from the elements until the widening Batagaika revealed them to scientists as perfectly preserved time capsules of the distant past. Although the melting permafrost and rapidly growing crater is an immense cause for concern, and an indication of just how fragile the seemingly tough Siberian permafrost truly is when faced with human intervention and global warming, scientists have been able to take advantage of a bad situation by using it as an opportunity to learn about the distant past. It's not often that such clear examples of what the Earth looked like thousands of years ago come to light, and the well-defined sediment history combined with dozens of perfectly preserved fossils have allowed scientists to study and learn an immense amount about what the Siberian climate was like thousands of years ago, as well as how continued human intervention and global warming might continue to affect the region and the planet in general. Archaeologists uncover secret passage to the underworld at Pyramid of the Moon in Teotihuacan. The Pyramid of the Moon, found within Mexico, is the second largest pyramid you can find within San Juan Teotihuacan, with only the Pyramid of the Sun beating its grandeur. You can track down this monument at the end of the Avenue of the Dead. The Avenue of the Dead has been used as a site for Mayan rituals in which both animal and human sacrifices were made. However, building on research carried out up to 300 years ago, Recently, archaeologists unearthed a concealed tunnel within the pyramid, leading into a 15-meter chamber embedded well into the Pyramid of the Moon. Some archaeologists have suggested that this tunnel was believed to have acted as a passage into the underworld. The existence of this tunnel was revealed by archaeologists affiliated with Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History, or INAH. 
Though the research project was rather collaborative with geophysicist teams from the National Autonomous University of Mexico. During the 1980s, a series of excavations began to be conducted, revealing skeletons appearing to have cranial deformation and injuries tucked away within the beloved Pyramid of the Moon. Another strange discovery made throughout multiple excavations is a mix of green stone objects. Many also claim that the discovery of riches made within the tunnel suggest there could be more beneath the surface, underground, with the Plays de la Luna presenting the possibility of a different entranceway into a possible network of tunnels. This finding presents a large opportunity to develop our cultural and historical knowledge due to the mecca of civilization emerging from the city of Teotihuacan, a place of great sacred value, which subsequently received offerings of higher significance. Therefore, discovering a new aspect to a site of cultural importance gives insight to researchers into the varying relationships and roles within communities and regions of Mesoamerica. Many hypotheses and predictions have been confirmed, solidifying some cultural assumptions made, through the discovery of this temple within the Pyramid of the Moon. Perhaps the most notable example of this is the belief that those who lived within Teotihuacan aimed to replicate the underworld through the designing of their temples explaining the concealed and underground nature of the tunnel and temple that were discovered. Using electrical scanning technology, an image of the subsurface was able to be formed, allowing archaeologists to identify the remains of various animals, including wolves and pumas, as well as an ability to identify different areas of the subsurface. Both culturally and scientifically, a breakthrough of this scale is of huge significance, providing a glimpse into a society we know little definitive information about. From the peculiar garden findings to space exploration to an understanding of ancient societies, there is a broad range of research being conducted in our modern day. New evidence of recent volcanic activity on Mars raises the possibilities of subterranean life. Spring of 2021 has seen the publication of a recent study, suggesting volcanic activity on Mars and, perhaps more excitingly, outlining the impact this could have upon alien subterranean life. Researchers from the University of Arizona Lunar and Planetary Laboratory found what has been described as a dark deposit, around a 30-kilometer fissure on Mars. A fissure is a volcanic vent that lava can burst through. This fissure, known as the Cerberus Fosse system, could be the most recent area of volcanic activity on Mars, having erupted as recently as 50,000 years ago, which is relatively recent despite its sounding so long ago. The explanation behind the fissure's recent eruption is currently that the magma erupted when it came into physical contact with gases or ice, both of which then vaporized. This explanation is purely speculation, is subject to change, and is by no means definitive. What has sparked further discussion and speculation, however, is the suggestion that Cerberus Fosse could mean there is warm magma, a source of heat, beneath the surface of Mars. This, coupled with existing assumptions of groundwater, could be enough to support some form of life. Furthermore, the heat of the magma, with it being so close to the surface of Mars, has the potential to melt some permafrost, producing liquid water which can be absorbed and leak through cracks in rocks. This environment, warm and wet, could support life on Mars. The idea that these could be suitable conditions is supported by the work and answers found under the Earth 4D project. The work, led by Barbara Sherwood Loller at the University of Toronto, found that some life on Earth is able to survive without any sunlight whatsoever. Who is to say the same cannot happen on Mars? One hazard that has eliminated the possibility of life on Mars in the past is the thin atmosphere and lack of ozone layer. This would expose life to deadly ultraviolet light and intense amounts of radiation. However, creatures living underground would be protected from both as well as the famously cold climate on Mars. Despite the environmental clues we continue to uncover, we are yet to discover any life itself on the Red Planet, and some people are convinced that it is not such a bad thing. Many scientists have speculated that meeting intelligent life may be dangerous for us. If they are more advanced than ourselves, they could cause us intentional harm. Though many concerns surrounding potential life on Mars focus on contamination and disease. 
How would human immune systems react to Martian microbes and vice versa? If there is no resistance to the foreign microbes, it could spell disaster for humans. After all, we have seen many times here on Earth that native populations can fall ill when new colonists arrive. This volcanic discovery presents research potential for so many avenues, making life on Mars a topic of research that is being seriously reconsidered. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.